Hi, good evening. My name is Brad Birkenfeld, and I'm the UBS whistleblower that exposed the largest and longest running tax scandal in the world at UBS in Switzerland. My story is quite an epic story, and it's important for people to realize that the whistleblowing that I had uh, commenced back in 2005 was prior to the law being passed in December 2006. So most people feel as though that I did this for a monetary gain, that's false. The timeline is quite clear on this um, whistleblowing that it was done uh, a year and a half prior to the law being passed, as I say. So that's important for you to all understand. Secondly, what was so important about this whistleblowing and historic and unprecedented was the fact that nobody in the history of Swiss private banking ever came forward to expose the trillion dollar industry that's been going on for decades. The very fact that the Department of Justice was incapable or unable or unwilling to expose this illegal conduct says a lot. That's all the more reason why whistleblowers are needed and not to be harassed and intimidated. So I think it's important to see that when courageous whistleblowers like myself and many others come forward and do the right thing, they should be applauded and praised, not attacked. And as I was indicted by the Department of Justice, it's quite clear that uh, I made them look like the fools they are because I did their job in essence. And to this day, which is now June of 2021, over $25 billion has been recovered by the United States government due to me. Over 100 Swiss private banks have come forward and paid penalties and fines. And over 100,000 Americans have come in and become tax compliant. There's not another person on the planet that has done something so astronomical in these numbers, which in fact, continue to grow because the money from the Swiss banks come back into American banks and get invested and taxed through perpetuity. Clearly, this was a monumental change in offshore banking. Unfortunately, it took a whistleblower to do it. And I think that's all the more reason why we need to support whistleblowers and to show why it's so instrumental in society to change the way in which society deals with waste, fraud, and corruption. The law firm of Cone, Cone, and Colapinto was uh, integral in helping me in my case, along with Dean Zerby, the author of the whistleblowing law under Senator Grassley. I think it's important for people to know these lawyers, as well as the senator, who took bold steps to go forward and to do the right thing. Rather than try and criticize these lawyers and the senator, they should praise them as well. Why? because what they have in fact have done is given people the opportunity to come forward. And it's a very courageous step to come forward as a whistleblower. Not only do you uh, risk your um, livelihood, but also you have um, lawyer's fees, you lose your job, possibly your family, your reputation and so forth. So what in fact that Steve Cohn and Dean Zerby did in my case was to go forward and to prove that in fact what I had done was so unprecedented and I was deserving of a whistleblowing award. But that's not really the point here. The point is, is that the fact that government retrieved all these assets back, we've eradicated a decades long illegal business in the hundreds of billions of dollars and it touches into the trillions with other countries as well. And that's something that's very important. And I think what I've done now is I've helped foreign countries also help try to pass whistleblowing laws like the US because it helps all of society. And it's also important to remember that when people get paid a whistleblowing award, it doesn't come from the taxpayer, it comes from the crime they exposed. So not only do you save the taxpayer money, but you're not charging them when you give that small percentage award to the whistleblower for taking these courageous steps. I think people have to understand the, the whole context of what the whistleblowing arena entails. It's not an easy road. It's a very hard road. 
and some people face uh, even harder steps than I have. But I think what we do is we persevere and we come together as whistleblowers as one in all kinds of industries, the FBI, pharmaceutical, finance, construction, military. Whistleblowing is not immune to any industry in our society. But what we must do is recognize that, praise whistleblowers, promote whistleblowers, and make sure that the laws stay very strong for everyone to utilize. I think everyone in society would agree with that. And that's why uh, I live in Europe now and I'm helping other foreign governments to pass whistleblowing laws analogous to the United States. That also is a, a tough road. It's uh, very difficult to change, but I think we will be successful. And with the help of Steve Cohn and Dean Zerby, we've been uh, making some inroads there. And there's other lawyers as well, not just my lawyers, who are being very helpful. So I think it's important for not only whistleblowers, but whistleblowing attorneys and the politicians to all come together and promote this. This is really quite critical for everyone to understand that this saves society. And if we don't do it now, when will we do it? So I've been very uh, gracious uh, with uh, the people I've met in the whistleblowing community because they've been very helpful to me. And uh, certainly I've written a book on this called Lucifer's Banker Uncensored. And my website, luciferbanker.com, has many, many documents and interviews and articles on whistleblowing and my story as well. So I like to promote the cause, I like to lecture about the cause, and I like to help other whistleblowers who have faced uh, obstruction and harassment and intimidation. And uh, certainly it's an important endeavor that we should all undertake, but I'm happy to be a part of it. I'm happy to be a part of this uh, whistleblowing day. And I wanna thank everyone for attending and please promote the cause, make sure that people understand why whistleblowing is important for everyone. Thank you very much.